So I translated this. This is very interesting. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, we got something cool for you. So I'll teach you something. Ganyarin, which is um, a duck driver. So mm -hmm. a very traditional job in China. I'll show you some pictures. Okay. Um, where you are kind of like a, a herder. The best ducks. way to the uh, best way to say is a herder, yeah. right? Like a not a nerf herder, but yeah, a, uh, I'm on Star Wars up there. Like a shep bit. like a shepherd, but a shepherd instead of ducks. sheep, what would you call that? A duckard? A, yeah, something. I feel like that could get inappropriate. Well, um, okay, anyway, I don't know. It just feels like it could go in a bad direction. <laughs> okay, so ducks, yeah, right? Yeah, you have yeah. ducks here. And don't you what... just hate autocorrect when it's always this ducking duck all the time? Because you just want to write the <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you get mad. You know what's it's really like, just ducking autocorrect. <laughs> What? Do you want to know something funny? What? I have gotten so mad at that so many times mm -hmm. that now I actually did want to write duck because I think my wife was like, what do you want for dinner? And I actually said duck, but it auto-corrected to the F word. Because <laughs> you trained. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. And I guess yeah. you got the wrong idea yeah. about what's for dinner. <laughs> anyway, yeah, say. so okay, yeah. duck herders, basically. Yes. not And they're not hurting ducks. They're herding ducks. Yeah, right? yeah herding. They, we, we've come across this in China. We Remember, have. We've got footage of us trying to cross the road and they're herding yes. the geese and ducks yeah it's an ancient it actually goes back like 1600 years mm -hmm. um and the people's responsibility is to take them as ducklings and herd them around mm -hmm. and by the time they're done in that with that stint or whatever they're full-grown ducks and they can be sold to the market yeah so you have them and they're it's a very interesting position because they treat the ducks as nomadic yes and the reason is is that it was expensive to feed ducks but if you let them go find the food themselves mm -hmm. they will seek out fresh bodies of water and eat uh freshwater shrimp they will go find that little bits of algae to eat. They will stuff feed in the fields or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to pay, buy big bags of feed, keep them in a pen, you know, and then risk animals coming. If you're watching them all the time, you they can be nomadic and find their own food. And they do. They're actually smart enough to be able to figure this out. Yeah, Some the quick quick thing. Uh, Chinese are the first people to ever to domesticate geese. That's correct. And they tr are treated like dogs in China, like watchdogs. Yeah, yeah. But also the, there's a lot of um, history about, uh, you know, cross, what is it, zo zo mm -hmm. zoonotic um, diseases. Yes. Because people would live with the geese. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that originated in China, mm -hmm. SARS and all of that kind of stuff. Just just an interesting fact I found out during the whole SARS breakout when I was in China in 2013. Yes. Anyway, um, so basically, you have this situation where these uh, people, this is very cool. Yeah, this is very cool. You have different variations of it, and there's one where the actual goose, and no, I'm sorry, duck herder, duck herder, the duck driver, will carry his own house on his back. Yeah, the duckard, and he will actually <laughs> go and go with these nomadic ducks. Yeah, take a look. 你听说过吗？它是我国有着一千六百年历史的传统行业。So you can see, uh, Simok did translate this for all of you guys. Hopefully you can see the subtitles. But basically it says, back in the day, uh, herders carried duck tents on their shoulders. Why did you say duck's tents? You know, great translation over there. What's a uh, duck's tent? Sorry. Duck's tents. Is that? <laughs> it's like past tense, except it's duck's tents. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, duck herders carried duck tents on their shoulders. 当年的赶鸭人间挑鸭棚子，当鸭子赶到哪里，哪里就是家。Duck trip they go. Yeah. Wherever he ends up is what he calls home. 沿途风。This sounds like lyrics from a song. It does. Yeah. Fish, shrimp, and grains along the way are the food for the ducks. 丰富的鱼虾谷物就是鸭子的食物。When the ducks, when they first hit the road, they're uh, sorry. By the time they come back, so when they first hit the road, they're ducklings, little ones. Yes. And by the time they come back, they're big fat. 时已经是大肥鸭。赶鸭人如果路上没有食物的时候。The has no food on the road. Well, I guess he probably eats some ducks, doesn't he? Nope. Oh, oh that's 就会用鸭子或鸭蛋。Exchange ducks or duck eggs for free food. For food. Would a duck egg not be food? It would, but I imagine you get pretty tired of that. <laughs> it's like what's for dinner? I imagine dinner? that's all you're eating the whole time. Yeah, what's for dinner? Duck egg with a side of duck. duck. <laughs> and, uh, and the first couple of days, you're like this is great. Yeah. And then day you're five, like, you're like, oh <laughs> no. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that's actually kind of cool. Food is cool. So no fixed residence. Day after day. I gotta say though, um, I really hope that's light. Yeah. Yeah, 年复一年，生活都是在野外。这就是传统赶鸭人的一生。Okay, now I let's go back to the translation. 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 Let's go
Uh, seven to nine weeks. So that's like two months. Yeah, about two months. So you're basically two months on the road out in the middle of the wilderness dealing with ducks quacking around. and Yeah. I mean, true. it's kind of cool. I think it'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just not a massive fan of ducks, but I think it's cool. Quite chill. If you're that kind of person who just likes to get out there and, you know, get some alone time. Yeah. With a lot of quacking ducks. Yeah. Yeah. How do you keep them from, like, going all over the place, though? I think they just, they eventually just herd together. Because if you've seen ducks, like, in a line or whatever, they do follow each other. I think that's just how they are. Otherwise, this would be insane. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Just running after all these ducks scattering around. You, like, fall asleep and a coyote or something comes in the night and eats them all. Jackal or something. But quite seriously, it's this kind of old traditional culture that I really appreciate. And I really like to see it still being done but yeah. it's very rare oh for sure so hopefully they preserve it for sure yeah it's cool though yeah it's very cool. cool um let's move yeah. on because when you get to the restaurant yeah, when you go to eat that delicious duck <laughs> yeah so here you sometimes. are sometimes it's so delicious that people want to join you it's <laughs> raining <laughs> Stop that music. <laughs> Don't really worry, they, they're that? all okay. You get the wildest stuff. Out I know. It's pretty funny. Um, it's, <laughs> it's so delicious that, that people will fall out, from the heavens. That too. was out of left field. <laughs> yeah, it really was. We had this beautiful nature documentary and then <laughs> yeah. it's raining men. Yeah, exactly. That's what, <laughs> that's what that guy thought. That he, yeah, exactly. That's what he played in his head. In I that would. Club. Yeah. Oh, in the club. Oh, in the club, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Look at that. <laughs> so that this looks so, so regarded. <laughs> Tiger Look and a leopard. <laughs> leopard. Do you remember in Shenzhen at the zoo yeah. when they had the cat incinerator? This is a like boa Tiger. constrictor. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a cat? <laughs> I mean, a pig? <laughs> what is that? A Panda crocodile, what is going on? This is a, so this deer. Is a sika deer, yeah, guys. Sika you know what a sika deer is? Those tiny Chinese deer. Sheep or goat, goose, horse. Could it be a little pony? Let's find out. Okay.